Hi everyone, it's currently 7.55 in the morning on August 15th, 2021, and I'm in Renfrewshire, Scotland, where I will be beginning my journey to cycle to all 12 of the Scottish Premiership football stadiums. I plan to cycle the entire route. It's going to take me five days, and along the way I'll be staying at Airbnbs. And so with that, let's start off with the first stadium on the route, SMISA Stadium in Paisley, home of, well, St. Mirren Football Club. The first day of the journey would see me head from Paisley into Glasgow before turning south to Motherwell, then across the country to Livingston before ending the day in Edinburgh, meaning that next I was heading to Glasgow. Welcome to Ibrox Stadium in the Govan neighborhood of Glasgow, home of Rangers Football Club. Last season, Rangers won their 55th league title beating out their crosstown rivals, who we would now visit, at a building known to their fans as Paradise. Welcome to Celtic Park in the Parkhead neighborhood of Glasgow, home of Celtic Football Club. With the Glasgow clubs done, it was time to head south toward Motherwell. I'm in Hamilton right now, and I have a bit of a, an issue this right here which keeps in the pannier bag the bolt came out from it at some point i i don't really know where and so i've got a i've got to find a hardware store but i don't really have signal here so it's going to be a challenge this will be fun i'm currently cycling right now and i've i've turned the camera on so that you can hear how annoying it is to not have that bolt in there Great. I've made it to a store looking at screws. Just gotta figure out which one's the right one. Now that that was fixed, I could get on the road to Motherwell with no more problems. I messed up and I'm on a highway. I really, really messed up. Yeah, so I don't know why, but maps put me on that. It wasn't fun, so I've, I've come off. There's this little uh, pedestrian bridge right here, so I'm just gonna go wherever this goes. It ended up going exactly where I needed it to. Welcome to Fur Park in Motherwell, home of Motherwell Football Club. With Motherwell done, it was now time for the longest stretch of the day, the 22 miles between Motherwell and Livingston. Right, I'm on the way to Livingston right now, but my phone died in kind of the middle of nowhere so i've pulled off to the side and charging it now there's also some clouds gathering in the distance which don't look fun and that i definitely need to beat eventually though after an hour and a quick issue with my bike chain i arrived in livingston welcome to tony macaroni arena in livingston home of livingston football club but there was no time to hang around I was a few hours behind schedule and needed to make it to Edinburgh. Ow! Alright, I, I just took a photo for a family so I laid my bike against the fence and I haven't picked it back up yet so there's no bike in this shot. But welcome to Tyne Castle Park in Edinburgh, home of Heart of Middle Lothian Football Club. Right, now I'm actually, I'm going to head to the Airbnb first before I head to the next Edinburgh club and that is because I told them I would get there at 5 p.m. and it is currently 6 30 because I've had so many issues and navigation everything's just been a mess so I'm going there first to check in closer to the initial check-in time Right, I have made it to my Airbnb, I've checked in. Turns out, Easter Road, which is uh, the home of Hibs, and the next stadium I need to go to is at the end of this road. It's really sick, I cycled past it on the way in. Uh, and I, I need to go to bed in a few hours, so I'm gonna walk to go get food, and while I'm walking, I'm gonna do the, the video in front of the stadium. All right, 
cool, cool. So I realize I'm just gonna cycle past here again tomorrow anyway, but I figure while I'm here, I might as well knock it out for the sake of time. So welcome to Easter Road, home of Hibernian Football Club, the crosstown rival of Hearts, as we are still in Edinburgh. Right, so as I was getting in yesterday, I was having an issue again with the bag staying on here. I figured, or I'm not quite sure where it is because I can't see, but basically the same issue I had yesterday in Hamilton. And I was thinking, oh, the screw's loose. I just need to tighten it real quick before I leave in the morning. There's no screw. So I need to go to a hardware store again. The place I just went didn't have anything that would fit the hole but they recommended a different shop a little down the road so I'm going to try there. The second place I went to ended up having what I needed and now it's dirty. So we can get on the road despite being uh, an hour, hour and a half behind now. Let's go. The day ahead of me would have the longest distance of any day on the journey. With me first heading north to Perth to get St. Johnston Football Club before heading east to Dundee to knock out the two Dundee clubs. Alright, I'm in Kinross now, uh, 18 miles south of Perth. I got myself a quiche. It's, it's like 1.30 so I'm not doing as good on time as I thought I was. Uh, so yeah, I'm just I'm scoffing this down and then heading back out and keep heading to Perth. I would eventually arrive in Perth just shy of two hours later. Welcome to McDermott Park in Perth, home of St. Johnson Football Club. I ran out of water so I came to uh, a BP to get uh, sort of like electrolyte replenishing drink, like a Gatorade or a Powerade. But they didn't have that. I don't know if they don't have it in the UK, period. But they didn't have it. So I got this, thinking it was uh, a substitute. It's not. It's more of a Monster Red Bull type thing. So that, that may have been a, a mistake. With Perth complete, it was time to turn east and start heading to Dundee. Welcome to Tannadice Park in Dundee, the home of Dundee United, who share the city with Dundee Football Club. Now, the thing is, these two share a fairly friendly rivalry, as well as a road. The two clubs' stadiums are on the same road, and fairly close to each other. And to illustrate just how close they are, I really quickly, I want you to remember this brick wall right here. We're going to go down to the corner of it, so I just want to show you. Remember that corner. That's where we're going to be in a second. Right, so you remember to this corner? Cool. Uh, no cars coming. Welcome to Kilmac Stadium in Dundee, home of Dundee Football Club. All right, I'm outside Greg's. I've just eaten a ham and cheese baguette. And I've gotten another one for lunch later when I eventually get hungry. And I went ahead and got another one of these because it was actually uh, really, it was enjoyable yesterday. So, yeah, we're going to head to Aberdeen now, actually, just once I put this all back in the bags. All right. Today would be a fairly straightforward day. 
as I would just be heading the 75 miles north to Aberdeen to get Aberdeen Football Club. Now, to get to Aberdeen, we're going to be taking Cycle Route 1 most of the way, I'm pretty sure, which is awesome because it means we're not going to end up with any awkward roads, any motorways. <laughs> It'll just be Cycle Route, you know, roads and or paths dedicated for cyclists to use them. So it'll be a safe ride to Aberdeen and hopefully an easy one. Turns out the cycle route was only a dedicated cycle path until Arbro. Uh, so progress has been slow since then. I'm in Montrose now, which is roughly the halfway point between Dundee and Aberdeen, at least for cycling. I'm about six miles from the halfway point, and it's only, I think it's 11.30 right now. And I left at 7.30, so we're making really good time. That's almost halfway in four hours. Uh, I, I've been going slower than I normally would when I cycle, like when I train for this trip. But that's because I'm obviously, I, I don't know these roads. I've got to stop to record stuff. And I've got to you know, stop to eat. Although I, I, I'd stop to eat normally when I was training for this. So that that's kind of built into the times I was expecting. But it has taken me longer to get places than I expected. And this would only continue as roads turned to gravel and gravel turned to grass. But eventually I would make my way up to Aberdeen. Welcome to Pedantre Stadium in Aberdeen, the home of Aberdeen Football Club. What is up? It is 7.05 in Aberdeen. I've come to this convenience store and I got another one of these bad boys and I got a sandwich for later because I'm, I'm still kind of full from dinner last night. So no breakfast right now, but yeah, I'm gonna get in the road. Today was supposed to be the easiest day of the journey with it being just 63 miles between Aberdeen and my destination of Bucky, with no football stadiums to visit along the way. Already hungry, haven't even made it out of Aberdeen yet, so it was a mistake just buying the one sandwich. I just don't have the energy to be cycling right now. I feel really, really sluggish, um, so I'm probably gonna stop at another convenience store and get an energy drink because this one that I thought was like a Gatorade the other day but was an energy drink is more like a Gatorade today so that's on me for not realizing that. Slowly I would eventually reach the town of Old Meldrum which I thought was Inverurie the town next door. I'm in Inverurie I've stopped for a sandwich, and I'm making terrible, terrible, terrible time. I'm 19 miles in, and it's been almost four hours, and that is because the wind is killing me. I'll, on descents, I feel like I'm going like normal speed, and going up hills, it's it's unbelievable. It's it's almost like I'm not moving. So. It's been an extremely frustrating past hour or so. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. My luck would soon change, as from there it was smooth sailing to the northern coast. Though not long after arriving, it started to rain. So, I pulled out the plastic bags to ensure I wouldn't have wet shoes tomorrow, and made my way to the hotel for the night.
it's the morning now in Bucky. It's drizzling outside a bit, so I ran out to get breakfast. Uh, just to kill the time until the rain stops because it's the weather app settles it'll stop within the hour so it'll be a bit of a late start today but not too late and you, even if it keeps going it's not that bad it's definitely manageable but i'd prefer to avoid it so we're gonna see how the rain goes the plan for today was to make the final push from bucky up through inverness and finally to dingwall 755 now leaving the hotel for the last day of the trip. running into some mild problems that I don't think will turn into major problems, hopefully. First of all, this bolt is giving me some trouble again because, uh, well, that, that grass bit back there was really bumpy and kind of knocked it out of place a bit. Um, it was making noise, it isn't now, so we're just gonna hope it remains <laughs> that way. Uh, and the other issue is this backpack strap is starting to tear and I don't know how long it'll hold like that but it's been my main backpack since I was 13 and I'm 22 next week so it's it's lived a good life Welcome to Global Energy Stadium in Dingwall, our last stop. It's the home of Ross County Football Club, and the stadium holds 6,541 people, while the town of Dingwall only has about 5,500 people. So you could fit the entire town inside the stadium and still have it only be at 84% capacity. But that is it. <laughs> 